Okay, so let's talk embellishments that were available with the kit. So there were these really um, adorable dimensional stickers. I'm not going to do anything with these because I like them the way they are. But there was also a sticker pack that came. You can see the whole sticker thing. And some of these, some of these are fine. Um, like for instance this piece here is is sufficient but some of these I think they could use a little bit more oomph to them and so we're going to use our scraps and punches again to just kind of enhance these a little bit so I'm going to use this particular label punch again it's an old Stampin Up punch and I'm going to pull out that rust scrap and punch this out and we're going to take this pumpkin set here and we're going to add some dimensional adhesive behind this just like so and we're going to stick this this already gives it a little bit more substance I like having it slightly off the edge this can be used to tuck in underneath the photo you can also add supplemental stickers so for instance you may want to add some height maybe you know have this piece coming off the top and maybe this coming out the side something like that might be cute these supplemental pieces I'm okay with holding off and using them at a later date so this is just getting me started this makes it a little bit more substantial and easier for me to use I don't know why I have a hard time with stickers um, but the minute I turn them into more of an ephemera piece and a sticker, it seems to be easier for me. So anyways, I'm going to hold on to these and we'll just use them more like finishing touches than as actual um, embellishments at this stage in the game. So another thing I want to do is take this particular paper, cardstock, whatever you want to call it, punch out a circle, just like so, scallop circle. And then I'm going to take a 1 and 3 eighths circle. I'm going to layer that on top. Add some adhesive. And we're going to take this big pumpkin and add some foam behind it. just going to add the sticker like so. Now I'm going to do the same thing with with this pumpkin only I am going to use um, circles instead of a scallop. So we're going to use the same paper. This is the one and three eighths. This is one and a quarter. I'm going to add that to the middle. and then add some adhesive to this pumpkin. Just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can make your own ticket punch, or your own tickets if you don't have a ticket punch. And we're gonna do this to size. So this is about two and a quarter inches by one and three quarters so two and a quarter so if we do two and a half by one and three quarters so let's trim this off so one and three quarters and two and a half okay now we're going to take the corner punch from creative memories and we're not going to use the rounded corner, we're going to use the reverse corner. So we're just going to tuck that in and trim this into a ticket. And that is just going to go right on top, of course, with foam tape. This foam tape makes everything special. <laughs> At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. If you're worried about the stickers being sticky, 
um, when you add these layers, you can always use like a powder tool, like an embossing powder tool, to just take the stickiness away, or um, just rub it against your like you know press it against your clothes a few times, and that will remove the tackiness, and then you don't have to worry about it, you know, possibly sticking to anything else. I don't tend to worry about it too much because I think the foam will apply enough pressure to prevent it from sticking. Just gives it a little bit more substance. I think this is another one that we can do something similar to and we are going to use a piece of the purple cardstock instead. So let's measure this one out. Two and a half by one and a half. So if we do two and three quarters by one and three quarters, that should work. Actually, I'm going to make it a lot bigger. I'm going to make it two and a quarter by three. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, I'm liking that. And I think we can jazz this up a little bit more. So this was, again, this was, so this is two and a quarter by three. Let's take some of this champagne and trim this down. So this was two and a quarter by three. So let's trim this to two, to two inches. And again, I'm always trying to preserve that 12 inch length in case I need to use that for something else. It just gives me more flexibility. <laughs> so that is two and we want to go two and three quarters. too. Let's see if this shape will fit. Actually it's not too bad. This I just punched out of the bronze. I think we can make that work. We'll just add a little bit of foam tape. You get the idea. Just like so. Okay, so I think that's enough playing around with this sticker sheet. Um, obviously, we can we can do something similar with this pumpkin if we need to. The hearts, um, I'm going to use these as embellishment pieces, and we'll see where the rest of this plays out when we um, get to our layouts and cards.